Do you remember these Y2K era school agendas? You know the ones, the ones we used to scratch on the covers to annoy our teachers and fold the pages like this. If you were in school in or around the year 2000, basically anywhere in the US or Canada, there is a really good chance that you had one of these. Another one of those things that I did not realize was so widespread until the beauty of social media, I started talking to you guys and realized that these were everywhere. So I wanted to know why. I wanted to know who made them, how they managed to get them into basically every school on the continent. So I started digging around online and I couldn't find anything until, no surprise, I found a Reddit thread, one of many Reddit threads about these, by the way, where somebody claims to have worked at the company that made them. This person said that the company was called Premier Graphics and it was located in Washington. So I did a little bit more digging and sure enough, Premier Agendas, and they still exist and they are still making planners. And now that I'm back home visiting my mom and I have my actual planner from the year 2000, I was able to confirm it and sure enough, there it is, Premier School Agenda's logo right inside of the front cover. So according to their website, they set out to basically mass produce school planners for schools to give to their students way back in 1983. And the idea was mass produce them so that they could be affordable so that the schools could actually provide them to their students to use. So they introduced them to a few schools in Canada and they got a great response. Teachers loved them, they were easy to use, they could use them for a lot of different things. They were actually able to get the kids to use them. So they expanded, which led to their widespread use all across the US and Canada by the 90s. And according to the Reddit user who worked for the company, they were basically all exactly the same except for a few tiny spots where you could customize things like your school name and stuff like that. In my school district, we only used them during middle school and they were really just to track our assignments day to day. And obviously to write notes and doodle in, which you can see I used mine for. <laughs> primarily. But a lot of people I've talked to over the years about these agendas have said that they used them in high school, maybe even elementary school, and that they had a whole bunch of different uses. Some people said that their parents had to sign the agenda either daily or weekly to show that they knew what homework assignments their kids had. Some people even said that their teachers used it as a bathroom pass, so their teacher would actually have to sign the agenda so that you could leave the classroom. But whatever it was used for in your specific situation, these planners were basically a rite of passage for millennials. And don't ask me why I still have not just mine from eighth grade, but I actually I also have my friends from eighth grade, but here it is. So let's take a look. The alternating image on the cover, and this changes from 2000 to 2001. Oh, very fancy. And then the daily pages are where we would write our assignments, but they also had over here like these little tips, and then also vocab, and then these little activities or these little like puzzles. Oh. I mostly used mine for writing notes back and forth to my friends and keeping track of things like people's phone numbers and the code names that we used for boys, but it is crazy to me how so many of us ended up with the exact same planner and how we somehow all knew to fold the pages like this.